waters. That's what this video is about. Now, I believe in clean water. I don't know if you can see. This is really clean. I just washed out this bucket. It's getting so much reflection. Anyways, yeah, there you go. See to the bottom. Nice and clean. I have another one next to it. Didn't dump this one because I just dumped it um, two days ago. Doesn't have any green in it. Has a little bit of debris, which I'll fish out. But I fill, refilled it and let it overflow. Got some of that out. Hi, Whisper. So I like to just give her, because I live in Southern California, and she's normally really dry. I give her a little moisture in her area where she stands the most. Whenever I fill her waters, I give her um, a little bit of a wet ground so she can hopefully get some moisture in her extremely hard hooves. She says, I'm out of here. I don't know what you're doing, lady. But anyways, oh, I sprayed it off right there. She might roll. I watered her pumpkin. So next I come down to here. And this is the reason you need to check your horse's water every day. I checked it yesterday, but I did not refill it. So this was two days of her drinking yesterday. But overnight, yay, this is what happened overnight. So had I not walked down here and checked this thinking, oh, well, it's still more than half full. I don't need to go check it, which I do every day anyways to get anything out of it, like the leaves. Even if I'm not putting water in, I check their wa her water every day. And if there's anything in it I that I need to get out like this, I dump it and wash it and refill it. If not, I usually just refill it. If not every day, at least every other day. But every day I check it to get any little leaves or anything like that out. So example, important, check your water. If you won't drink it, don't expect your horse to drink it. That's my opinion on horse water. The more water you can give them, more areas they can drink, the better. Because in my opinion, these horses that we lock up and that they have no choice, they're not out on the open range finding their own food and water. What you give them is all they got. So please give them clean food, clean water, healthy standing ground, clean place to stand. And um, they will, I think, ration their water out if their buckets are too small. That's my opinion. So make sure they have a lot of different areas they can get to water in case something like that happens in their main big bucket. Because would you drink it? And then she has two extras up here. I could probably put more, but I think this is sufficient for one horse. All right, when it gets hotter, I'll probably add one more bucket about the size of that blue one, just so she has another option in case something happens to these if they're too hot or if an animal gets in them, because animals, wildlife's looking for water too. If you don't drink it, they won't drink it. If you won't drink it, why would you expect them to? Give your horses clean water. Love and bless, have a great day. Please like, subscribe, and share my videos. Hit that bell so you don't miss any more, any of Whisper's videos. Bye for now. She's listening to the dogs. My very alert girl. Okay, bye-bye.